All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to the two fighters. Four by three minute rounds, we do it at the middleweight limit. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner. He wears the black trunks with the gold trim. He weighed in officially 73.2 kilos. From the extreme boxing gym at Bourbon Gary, trained by Miles Collins, he has one professional fight for one draw. Rizzo, make some noise. This is Hayden. Hold my beer, Emerson. And his opponent standing across in the red corner. He wears the trunks black, white, and grey. He weighed in officially 73.8 kilos. Hailing from the integrated MMA gym, his professional fight record. One fight for one win. This is Tim Schultz. As we head into our second pro fight of the night, it is a four by three minute contest okay, between that man, the, Tim Schultz um, and Hayden in the Anderson. Room. Obey my commands. Let's have a good clean fight. Sure to be another back good fight here. Over so the short route of four by three minute rounds. That man in the gold and black on debut had a draw with the boxer we saw in our previous bout, Ryan Lamont, and you saw he just picked up a really good victory, so that's really good form going into this fight. Whereas Tim Schultz, he had a, he had a close win on debut, so uh, a split points decision it was back in October last year over Sean Olsen, so this should be a really competitive fight. But Hayden Emerson, based off that last bout, he should have some good form going into this. Aiden Emerson just measuring out that lead jab initially, catching his opponent with a right hand as he comes close. Tim Schultz trying to close that distance once again, but Emerson doing a good job with his jab so far, and a left hook there, catching his opponent on the way in, and that's two. You can see Schultz already acknowledging his opponent. You hit me a couple of times. Aiden Emerson just measured at the moment. Not rushing in, which is good to see for a person having their second fight. Three jabs. Just trying to close that distance as Emerson. Tim Schultz, right hand, win a miss. See Emerson trying to draw something out of Tim Schultz so he can counter him. You can see plenty of balks. He's just trying to get something so he can draw something and then find an opening and counter himself as he comes forward with two jabs, just missing the mark. Swing and a miss once again from Schultz. Oh, right hand lead there from Tim Schultz. You can see. This is an orthodox versus a southpaw fighter. Hayden Emerson being the orthodox right-handed fighter. Whereas Tim Schultz, his power hand is that left hand. Sometimes it can be scrappy as he lands his big left hand just as I speak. Does Emerson and Schultz come back to, with his own kit of punches. It's a really good opening round so far for both boys. Aiden Emerson just getting back on that jab. The left hand just missing the mark there from Emerson and Schultz. Good left hand there from Schultz. Both boys just trying to play the counter roll. Just happy to wait. A good opening round for both boys. They both had their moments. As we see some replays of round number one, there's a good opening from Emerson, but then Schultz started to warm into it. As we can see with that big left hand he scored there with. Both boys eager to get on with it as they touch the start of the second round. 
Hayden Emerson. Check left hook to start. Tim Schultz coming forward with that big left hand. Once again missing the mark. Both boys coming close. They get broken up by John Watson, the referee. Both boys just, just hesitant, like I said, just trying to draw something out of their opponent so they can counter off it. More of a chess match at the moment. There's a good combination there from Hayden Emerson. Right hand just missing the mark once again from Emerson. Tim Schultz just trying to break that distance once again. Trying to get close enough to his opponent, but doing it at times, not throwing punches. So he's getting caught on the way in. Good right hand there from Schultz. That was his better punch of the fight. As he's changing stances, he's, he's switching between orthodox and southpaw, trying to mix things up and make it really hard for Emerson to get a gauge on him. A big right hand just missing the mark there from Schultz as he comes forward with a left hand now. He's confusing himself. As he eggs on the crowd here, this is an entertaining second round. That's for sure that was a good right hand there from Hayden Emerson. Walking his opponent straight onto that right hand. And another right hand there from Emerson. And a left hook. Much more active second round compared to that first. And that was a good left hand there from Schultz. Both boys having their moments in the second round. Doubled the amount of punches already been thrown in the second round. And we've still got a minute to go. Hayden on his toes, bouncing around. Trying to evade punches with his feet. It was a good spin there from Schultz, but did nothing with it. Got his back, opponent's back to the ropes. But oh, good chef. Left hook lands to the end, and right hand there from Hayden Emerson. That was two and three good shots. He's hit him once again with the left hand. He's uh, had a good little period there, Hayden Emerson, as he finishes it to the body. Up and under there from Hayden Emerson as both boys are having fun out there, but you think this is Hayden Emerson's round so far. Starting with that jab once again, there's that right hand as he walks his opponent onto it, Hayden Emerson. That was a good right hand from Schultz. They're punching and turns at the moment. A really good entertaining round two. You can see some replays. Both boys having their moments. That was a good left hand as Schultz changed his stance for a moment there, converting from southpaw to orthodox. But when Hayden Emerson worked it out, he started to get his better shots off. As you can see, a right uppercut, left hook. Both boys are eager to get on with it as we close in on round three of four. The penultimate round. Both boys well and truly still in this fight, both having their moments. Oh, good right hand there from Hayden Emerson. Just out of range there from Schultz as Hayden Emerson gets back on the jab and another jab there. That was better to the body from Schultz. That's when he fights his best, Hayden Emerson, when everything works off that jab. He's got his distance where it should be when he works off that jab. Once again, both boys happy to be in close quarters, coming together with their hands held high. There's a good right hand there from Schultz. Both boys, once again, happy to fight out when they get in close and tangle up. I think it's a better round for Schultz when he's, uh, he's starting to break down that distance, and that's where he needs to be as he scores with his own good left hand there. And there's another one from Schultz. And a right hand. It's a good period for Schultz. 
Hayden Emerson's got to get back on that jab. That's when he's the most effective. So we're going to, oh, big right hand from Schultz again. And there's a second one. Emerson doesn't need to fight. He needs to get back on his bike and start boxing. You can see if it gets sucked into a fight, Schultz is probably the heavier handed of the two. And that's better from Emerson as he get, keeps it long and he scores straight away. Right hand, left hand, both hitting the mark there from Hayden Emerson. And this is where he doesn't want to be. He needs to work off his jab. Schultz, that's exactly where he wants to be. Swing and a miss once again from Schultz as he gets caught coming in with that cobra-like jab once again of Emerson as he tries to wail away to the body here, trying to take every advantage. Just getting a little warning on the fly from John Watson, the referee, for hitting a little bit low. And back on the jab he is, and there's a good two-punch combination from Hayden Emerson. The cleaner of the punches are coming from that man, Hayden Emerson, but Schultz probably the, the heavier hitter of the two. As both boys touch it up for the fourth and final round, both boys thinking they're still in this fight and could still win it, so you, you would think there'd be plenty of leather thrown in this fourth and final round once again as Schultz starts fast. Just letting go of two big right hands and a left hook there. Lamont back on that jab. Good jab there from Lamont. Keep him at bay with that jab. Once again paying dividends as Schultz now converts once again to the South Four stance. And back to the Orthodox and he scores with a right hand there does Schultz. center of the ring this is where that man in gold and black wants to be Hayden Emerson because he's got the much better jab out of the two oh and a right hand he catches Schultz as he comes in the best punch of the round so far for Hayden Emerson what a fight once again as we've got two minutes left of this final round this will open up again as both boys try and stake their claim on this contest a big left hand just missing the mark there from Schultz as both boys tangle up, get broken up from John, John Watson, the referee. And they come forward once again. What a fight once again. Aiden Emerson and Tim Schultz. Big right hand just missing the mark there from Hayden Emerson. Just over a minute to go left in this contest. They can smell the finish line. Both boys starting to fatigue now. Only their second pro fights for both of these boys. Tim Schultz acknowledges, comes forward, grits down in his mouth guard and throws the big uppercut. Just missing the mark, but that didn't miss, that right hand. Hayden Emerson trying to get back on his bike, back on that jab, and that's exactly what he needs to do in the center of the ring. Hayden Emerson, he's marching forward now. That tape on the glove starting to come loose, but might see it out before it gets picked up with only 30 seconds to go in this contest. Emerson back on that jab, trying to keep his opponent at bay, trying to wind down this clock. He thinks he's ahead. He's probably scored the more effective shots out of the two both boys coming close and good body work there from Emerson oh and a left hook and a right hand he's thrown every punch in that combination he's landed all of them a really good finish by Hayden Emerson and you'd think you'd do enough to win here tonight as we check out some of the replays of that fourth and final round and another really good evenly contested round but that man Hayden Emerson getting the more effective shots off 
the cleaner shots off. Big right hand just hitting the top of the head of Schultz as he comes forward. Fighters, what a great contest it was. We go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Marshall scores the contest 40 to 37. Judge Williams judges the contest 40 to 36. And Judge Ty scores the contest 40 to 36. All to your winner by unanimous decision. And it goes to the blue corner, Hayden. There it is, Hayden Emerson, rightly so, getting the points decision. Really good polished performance by him. A really good boxing exhibition tonight.